I sat in the chair and I felt the metally fiery chemo medicine dripping into my body. And it was sitting there and thinking, you know, this is real. It's not a dream. I got to wake up. I got to face reality. I need to accept the fact that I have cancer. I'm a stage four cancer patient. I've been diagnosed with, that's what the science says. I had a tumor that was growing in the inside of my tonsil. And that is what ultimately caused me to find out that I was diagnosed with a lymphoma of cancer that already spread through the whole body. Six months into it, I've never been a stronger Christian and relying and giving everything to God as much as I am now. Because if anything, he will be the one to heal and save me. What's up? Hashtag Hoochie. <laughs> what are you doing? I am getting ready. There's a lot of questions and there's a lot of judgment nowadays with the LGBT community versus the straight community. And what people, you know, when straight conservative come up and say, you know, I have such an issue, I can't believe that these two guys are holding hands in public or kissing in public. Like, how they should be stoned, you know, they should be put in prison for that. That's ridiculous. I've heard it. People say, we choose to be gay. We don't choose to be gay. Ask every gay person. And they'll say the same thing. They've been crying for years on their knees, asking God to take this disease away. Just let them be normal so they can stop getting picked on and beaten and made fun of and be accepted just for a single day. You learn to just accept who you are. And I'm fine. I'm, I'm totally happy being a gay Christian, loving God and serving God with my heart and soul. If I didn't know the love of God, I question where would I be? Would I be alive still? Would I still be in the streets of the Bay Area doing drugs, smoking, drinking? Would I be a pimp or a prostitute? You know, who knows? God's for everyone. He says, Come to me and I'll give you a clean heart. You know, you ask for forgiveness and he erases your sins from his memory. You know, people that drink or party been a prostitute or been a pimp or do drugs you know we've all sinned i ask god to forgive me of my sins obviously being saved is one of the happiest moments of any person's life you know you, you really find a true love jesus christ is beaten he was hung on a cross for my sins with a crown of thorns placed in his skull for me you know what who am I to be so special that somebody will take such a harsh and cruel beating just so I can live? Why am I so short? Why do my feet have to be so big? Why can't I sing? We've all got the stuff about us that we just don't understand. In this journey, if God decided to call me back home. For my own peace of mind, I would hope that I, I tried everything first and, and really prayed and really had the faith and really, you know, asked for forgiveness of my sins just so I know that I am going back home. You know, um, to me, it would be so much better to just be there than to deal with the pain that I'm going through every day. To my friends and family, It could break them. It could break their religion. It could break their mindset. 
and they will give up. Faith. They will lose it. That would kill me. Just because we won't be reunited in heaven. This journey did bring a lot of my family and friends to God. But that's because they're believing in a miracle. What if the miracle doesn't get answered? Don't give up. Don't give up. Do I live in fear or do I continue to do his work that I'm placed on the earth to do? Do I continue to reach out to the young youth in the world, the lost, the forgotten, the hurt, the broken, you know? My best friend Gilbert has a great ministry for those types of people, for the LGBT, for the straight, for anyone. If you want a relationship with God, if you're truly broken and forgotten, if you feel like, you know, you want to take your life because you can't find a church that accepts you, Phoenix Ministry will accept you the way you are because God accepts you the way you are. I'm doing the Bay Area chapter and we have one message and it's the love of God. My hope through this whole thing is that, you know, obviously that I'm cured of cancer and I'm a, a cancer-free patient. Um, if it doesn't happen, if I have cancer for the rest of my life or if cancer is the thing that's going to kill me, I will be okay with it. I've given all faith and hope and love and all of this burden to God. And if he thinks it's time, and if he needs me for something better in heaven, then that's where I'll go.